All right, uh, welcome to our January 14th Park and Rec meeting. Um, today's agenda, we have, uh, we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, we have some, maybe some commissioner updates. We will do uh, some meeting, uh, some meeting minutes. Approval of the 2020 summer seasonal job posting. Um, we have an open seat on the commission. We'll get into that a little later. Um, Tim's going to update us on a statistically valid survey that we have. Uh, uh, well, it looks like we're going to table that, actually. Um, we have a, the P, uh, director's report, um, some events coming up, and any new business. So if we can start by doing the Pledge of Allegiance. Sean, you want to lead us? Sure. I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all right. <clears throat> Do you guys, uh, I don't have any updates um, for any of the subcommittees I'm on. Um, I don't know if you guys I have any no, updates. No, I have no updates. No, I have none. Alicia, Tim, do you guys have any? Yeah. No, we don't have. Okay. Uh, I, the one thing I do want to talk about, um, so Mike is going to go, Mike Lavasseur is going to go to the CPC meetings for all night. Um, and one of the things that they're going to discuss is the percent uh, distributions of the buckets. So typically, recreations had about 20%. So we'll just go back, and I'm going to go to that meeting as well. Um, so we'll just try to, hopefully, we can keep it 20. Um, we'll see what the discussion is. OK, great. Um, so we have meeting minutes for December, uh, December 10th. I just uh, pointed out to Alicia that it said I was absent, but I was here. And I guess the previous one said I was absent, and yeah, I wasn't and either, so. I, will, I fixed the other one, and I will fix this one again, and I've just fixed this one. Really making an impression for uh, I opened the meeting, so that's yeah. the only reason I know I was here. He was here. Yeah, I'll entertain a motion when you guys are ready. Okay, do you want a motion just for one or both of them? Um, you can do one at a time. One. Yeah, All right, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the um, December 10th minutes with that one um, mm -hmm. amendment or correction. What is a correction? That Fred was present. In the commissioner updates, it says that he was uh, at, yeah, yeah, that was I got you. Cause I was, I was yeah. looking up here. I'm looking Okay. Yep. So we'll fix that up. Second that. All right. All those in favor of approving the December 10th meeting minutes with the uh, pending edits? Aye. 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 Okay. We have December 23rd. Make a motion to accept the December 23rd meetings as written. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. We have approval of the 2020 summer seasonal jobs posting. Mm -hmm. So you can go through and, and check them out. Um, everything that's listed on the front is uh, the positions that we are posting for the summer. Um, and everything um, on the pages following are the short job description summaries and the grade and step 
um, or sorry, the grade and the starting um, hourly wage. So I would just like to make mention that we are actually going to uh, retract the <coughs> director position off here because um, Matt uh, Adama, who is uh, been working for us for a number of years now, is going to step into that role this summer, so we won't actually be posting that position. Which one was that? I'm sorry. Aquatics director under oh. Lifeguard 2. It just wasn't redacted off this page, so I just want to make that clear to everybody. Okay. Because you just had that conversation with him? Yesterday. Yesterday. It's all pretty straightforward. Anything, any, anything you want to highlight? No, um, I guess if folks are watching, you know, we're always still looking for community education instructors. Um, so uh, that will be posted as well. Um, we definitely use more uh, community instructors in summertime um, than we do, you know, typically throughout the year. So uh, this is a great opportunity to kind of jump on board and um, start that, you know, career opportunity or you know, side uh, employment, whatever folks are interested in. So give us a contact if you've got an interest in teaching a class. Okay. Um, if you guys are good with this, I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve it. I make a motion to approve the uh, seasonal jobs posting for 2020 summer. Second. All those in favor? Uh -huh. Aye. All right. Um, so now we have an open park commission seat. Um, for those of you who don't know, Kevin Matrano resigned uh, recently. Um, so we need to fill a seat. Uh, we have a meeting with the Board of Selectmen on January 27th. Um, is the intent to fill the vacancy that, that night or just to bring it out into the public? So they have already posted it. Yeah, okay. um, so if there's any applicants, which I don't believe so at this time, um, that we would review those applicants. Um, they'd invite them to come in and speak. So mm -hmm. um, that would be the process. Is you know I, I think I've heard from uh, one or two people that they're you know thinking about applying. So okay. um, we should have somebody at least that night um, to be able to do you know an interview for that posting. Okay, so if anybody out there is interested in being a member of the Park and Rec Commission, we have an open seat. Um, the process would be to apply online on the town website. Town clerk, with the town clerk. With the town clerk. It's on the town uh, website, but on the town clerk's um, okay. page All right. specifically. So go to the town clerk's mm -hmm. page on the website. Um, I know there's a form to fill out. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you get through, if well, if you decide to do that, you'll be invited to the Board of Selectmen meeting on the 27th. Um, I believe if it runs as they've done in the past, you'd be asked to speak, um, some background, why you want to be on the commission, and then um, we we choose, it's our choice or our choice along with the Board of Selectmen? We recommend, I think it's a, I think that's we why recommend it's a joint, the Board of Selectmen. Yeah, right? that's why it's a joint meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that would be the process. Um, so if anybody's interested in volunteering for the town, now's a good chance. Um, Anything else on that that we need to discuss? That's really it. it. Was just you know that was something more of I wanted you all to know about that joint meeting. Make sure it's in your calendars that we talked about it. So because um, we do have to have a quorum for that since yeah. it's a joint meeting. Yep, I got it in my calendar. Yeah, Thank you, too. you gentlemen. Yeah. All right. Um, next up, we had the statistically valid survey update. Um, mm -hmm. Looks like we want to table that till February. Yeah, so we're We just I haven't had any time to get any kind of headway with it that's worth um, kind of putting out there and you know really taking up any of your time on it. So once I have some more concrete data next month, we'll really hammer it out. And hopefully, we'll be at a point where we'll actually pick a, a company that we want to go with, um, and then at that point, it's just all in their hands until we get the report back. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll table that until February. All right, uh, on to the director's report. All right. Um, so uh, just a, a few things that I have um, written in here as uh, important was, um, so the Camp to Hadawan update. 
Um, so at this point, uh, week A, there are, because of snow days, there's only two days left in week A of Camp D. Um, so if we have any more snow days, which is more, more than likely to happen, um, we won't be able to run week A at all. So we're trying to make that decision now if it's worth running a day or two or just starting on week B. Um, and I think we're kind of leaning towards starting on week B. Because um, the reality is there could be more snow days and then we could be into the first week of mm -hmm. week B, right? Um, so um, we went back and communicated with the public schools again. So they will not allow us to run week G, which is August 10th through the 14th. So we can't do that. So um, I do have a um, discussion set up with Steve Mark to try to see if there's other options, whether you know, we have a tent or something outside and then can use the restrooms at Schaefer Lane to at least try to get that last week in there. Because um, otherwise, you know, the issue is that, you know, at, towards the end of the summer, you've got like 150 kids that are in the program that if we run to have one extended instead, we shrink the numbers down to 60. So essentially, you know, you're displacing, you know, eight kids from, mm -hmm. you know, summer camp. So we want to be able to give the community those options. It's something that they need that they you know, have asked for um, and signed up for regularly. So um, we're trying to find alternatives to still be able to offer that week H, or sorry, week G, my apologies. Um, so like I said, we're trying to figure that out. Um, the hiring update. So um, Alea Corbin did uh, take the position for the recreation and uh, sports program coordinator. Um, so that's um, contingent on the completion of the pre-employment drug and alcohol test. Um, so hopefully we will have her in the office by the first week of January. So, um, so that'll be you know great to have that position filled. Um, that will help us out a lot. Um, our elementary ski program has been like gangbusters this year. We've had 46 participants, so it's been really amazing. Um, so they're actually down there skiing right now um, at Shoba. Um, we already talked about community preservation. Um, we're currently working on the spring and summer brochure, uh, and we're aiming to have it in homes around Valentine's Day. Yes. The budget hearing date, we did solidify that as um, being January 21st. Um, I need to check the date. I'm not sure if I have an actual time frame. It'll be in the evening, um, so I can send that email out with the actual date and time tomorrow. Um, so that'll be next Tuesday. Um, we talked about Camp T hiring. And that is about it. Questions, comments, concerns? No. No. No, I'm good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, events, Tim? Yep. So, uh, next event on the docket is two weekends, uh, January 25th, Saturday from 1 to 4. Uh, we have the Fire Nice Festival. Um, so, We'll be having uh, similar entertainment to what we had last year. We'll have the ice sculptor back. We'll have uh, a fire dancer there, uh, as well as a band. Um, just uh, kind of looking at the weather, it does look like we're going to catch f the temperatures finally for the drink <laughs> to freeze. So uh, I was talking to Steve from Highway today. Looks like we'll be in the, the teens during the day, single digits starting from Thursday on. So hopefully, uh, We'll do it. We're going to drain the rink again tomorrow, start with another two inches of water, freeze that, and start piling it back on okay. since uh, 70 degrees on Saturday really did us a huge you still disservice. still in there? So yeah. we're draining it? No, it's just to make it freeze quicker so we can freeze two inches at a time rather than try to freeze six inches at oh, one right. time. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That way it'll make the ice a little stronger so it's, you know, it's not cracking full thickness all the way through. Um, so hopefully that'll all come together. Uh, other than that, it should be a really good event. It was a lot of fun for everybody who attended last year. Um, you know, if we get some snow this weekend too, it looks like we'll have the tubing hill open and everything else. So it should be a really fun day to get everybody outside and just uh, have a nice community day. Um, Tyson Tiara's dance is going to be the next one. So that's February 8th. Um, starts at 6 o'clock, runs through 9. Uh, one change this year that we will be doing is we are going to have the, uh, the dance catered by El Forno. So oh. it'll be dinner and a dance. Um, nice. 
there will be an option of uh, there'll be salad, um, plain pasta, and then you can get it dressed uh, with your option of either chicken parm or meatballs, uh, and then there'll be bread. So we'll do that from six to seven. Uh, kind of have some activities and stuff going on, oh, yes. and uh, we'll uh, we'll get the dance started uh, shortly after. Um, so uh, that was the uh, one of the things that we uh, kind of upgraded this year and going to give a try. What else do you have? sell it, sell it a little bit more? What else What else is at the dance? Yeah, so um, it's uh, it's a really awesome night for daughters and their plus one to come out and. Uh, just kind of, we have a, a professional photographer who comes out and uh, they do pictures. The photos always come out really, really good. Um, you can go online, choose to purchase them after the dance uh, once they're posted. Uh, they're normally up by Saturday morning before uh, uh, anybody's even up, so to check out. Uh, we have a, a pretty cool raffle that we do. So we raffle off a six foot or larger teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> that is the uh, key prize for everything. Uh, we also have um, you know flowers and little teddy bears. Um, for sale. Uh, we also do uh, all sorts of glow stuff and tiaras. Uh, we have uh, our uh, park and rec DJ. Uh, he does a lot of the towns around here, Mike Pride. Uh, he does all sorts of dances. They do um, uh, competitions where the daughters, you know, kind of race to uh, do musical chairs with their plus one, or they do, um, I think last year they did like a uh, uh, they wrapped them in the tissue mommy, paper yeah. and toilet paper like a mommy. <laughs> so, um, you know, we have all sorts of balloons and giveaways and all. It's it's just an awesome time for you know the daughters to get out and spend time and just kind of run around and uh, it's a it's a good uh, event for the parents as well to to get a chance to mingle and you know talk to people that they don't necessarily get a chance to see. Uh, it's at Shaker Lane School. Like I said, it starts at six o'clock. Um, dinner's going to be served from six to nine. Um, tickets are going to be. $30 per daughter plus one, $10 for each additional daughter, and there's a family cap of $50. So um, if you you know have multiple children who are coming, uh, you stop it once you're at 50. So that's all gonna be uh, out on the Park and Rec website. So tickets actually go on sale tomorrow uh, now that we finalized the dinner piece of it um, today. So we'll have, uh, have that coming out. So I'm sure you'll see it on your Instagram and your Facebook and all your other social media posts as well as stuff coming out for Fire and Ice. And uh, if you have any questions, as always, call the office or email myself directly, tmahowski at littletonma.org. And uh, yeah. Okay, great. I think you've been there before. I I no, I was going to go last year, but uh, I forget what happened. I think my daughter got sick, actually. The year before, she didn't want to go. I got her to go. She committed to going last year, and then she got sick, so we didn't make it. Um, but the, the event's open to everyone who wants to come. So. Um, you know, like Tim said, check it out on Facebook or on the, our website, and you can get tickets there. And I know uh, I, I did get an email the other day. Um, one of our local residents, uh, Eric McNaught, she, is, uh, she has a dress company. I know that she's uh, about to, uh, I don't know what she's doing, but she had emailed me. Um, so if anybody's looking for some really awesome dresses for the event, or, you know, I know we got a lot of holidays and stuff coming up. So um, she's definitely somebody who you can reach out to who's a local person. Uh, if you're looking for a really awesome dress for the dance. She does all of her Great. Thursdays and everything. So cool. uh, thank you for that, Erica. Cool. All right. Uh, any new business? Nope. All right. Looks like we're going to get out of here in record time. Howdy, gents. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. See you next month. Cool. She's only got to pick one person. That's right. She doesn't have to like. Oh, who made?